But this morning we do have sunshine to start off our Tuesday, but of course it is warm and muggy. And since we're looking at another mostly dry day ahead, you can take your umbrella with you just to be on the safe side. But most of us really just ended up not receiving rain on Monday. That's the same story we're looking at for today. But while it is still earlier in the day, if you have something that you need to take care of, some yard work or something else you need to take care of outdoors, of course, this is the better time frame to do it. It's 81 degrees, feels like 88, but we do have a beautiful view again, sun shine really seeing just a clear sky at this time and looking at the current temps around the area we also see 81 in Gonzales, 79 in Thibodeau and those dew points are in the upper 70s so again very muggy morning still going to remain muggy throughout the rest of today and we have a heat advisory that will be going into effect at 11 a.m. so all of our viewing area is included under this heat advisory and this again is in the time frame is from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So remember just to drink plenty of water and if you'll be working outdoors, just try not to overdo it so you don't end up having a heat related illness, overheating or just suffering from heat exhaustion. Now looking at your Taco Tuesday planner again, a nice, beautiful, sunny morning morning for us. We have a slim chance for showers for this afternoon, but overall just again, another mostly dry day ahead, as I just mentioned just about a minute ago. So our highs for today will be around 96 for Baton Rouge, Gonzales, 94 for New Iberia and 91 for Morgan City and here's a look at those heat index values 110. That's what it's going to be feeling like once we get into the peak heating of the day later this afternoon. So our overnight low temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s. It's going to be very warm and muggy starting us off on our Wednesday morning just like it was for this morning. And highs for tomorrow will be around 94 for Slaughter, Woodville, 97 for Baton Rouge, and 98 for Denham Springs. And again, those heat indices will still be around 110 for Baton Rouge, 103 for Lake Charles, and saying 109 for Monroe, Louisiana. So again, warm, very humid weather continuing all week long with slim chances for showers and as just mentioned yesterday and even at the end of last week this is in place as we have high pressure over the region that's helping us to have this hotter and drier weather conditions for really the next few days so looking at your pool cast is a nice couple of days to be by the pool but again try not to spend too much time outdoors drink plenty of water and don't forget to wear your sunscreen and we'll still have isolated showers in the forecast through the end of the week rain chances still staying a little bit lower through the end of the work week and coming up just a tad bit more so as as we head into the weekend and the early part of next week. So looking at your seven day forecast, heat advisory in effect for today, hot and humid weather still continuing for the next few days. And overall, this will be pretty much a repetitive forecast. Again, last week it was on and off showers. Highs were just mainly in the 80s range for a few days. And now this week we have a different story, but it'll still be repetitive, hot and humid. We might have a heat advisory issued again for your Wednesday and isolated showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon hours for today through the end of the work week and rain chances coming up just a tad bit more. So for the weekend as more moisture starts to build in once again.